Anyone who owns a Red Power Bike Red Runner or has ridden one for any given length of time knows one undeniable fact. The seat sucks. This has been the case since the original Runner 1 and has carried over to the Runner Plus when that was released. Early in 2022, Rad released the new Rad Runner 2 version, and one of the few improvements that they made was they added extra padding to the seat. However, despite this upgrade, many feel that the Runner Seat 2.0 is very uncomfortable, especially on long rides. Much of this discomfort comes from the strange shape and design that the seat has compared to a traditional bicycle seat. It's flat and extremely wide. It seems that Rad made the choice to make the seat sit flush against the rear passenger seat and took this priority over the rider's overall comfort. So it seems to be a design choice, form over function. If you're doing a lot of pedaling, many choose to raise the seat to provide better leverage and a range of motion. Or if you have the rear passenger seat, you can lower the saddle and move the sitting position towards the rear, but this may make pedaling uncomfortable. So the conclusion most Red Runner owners make is to forego the seat entirely and to switch it out for a more conventional bicycle saddle. Yet there's one complication if you decide to make the seat upgrade. The main seat of every version of, of the Runner from the 1, 2, and Plus have a custom seat post that has a metal plate that bolts onto the Rad Runner seat. As Rad puts it, it's an integrated steel seat post, fixed angle. So keep in mind, if you want to switch out the runner stock seat, you'll be required to purchase a new seat post on top of the new, more comfortable seat. Rad sells the Suntour suspension seat post, so that's what they'll usually recommend as a replacement. But the runner takes any 27.2 millimeter seat post, so any other third party option in that size will work. The Suntour is a bit more pricey than your average low cost suspension seat post, since it's a bit more than just a tube in a spring. It doesn't just absorb shock down, but it moves the rider slightly back as well. More of a pivot than a bounce. It's kind of like when you stand up on the pedals when you're going over bumpy terrain. Your body naturally absorbs the shock. But picking a seat post is much easier than picking just a seat, since there are many different seat options. Rad sells just three on their site. The standard saddle, comfort saddle, and enhanced comfort saddle. Each option being wider and having more padding than the previous. However, there are of course many other options available. I've seen many riders swear by the Cloud9 seat to be comfortable and high quality. A comfortable bicycle seat is a lot like a mattress for your bed. Comfort is something that is different for everyone. Simply because something has a lot of padding doesn't mean it's going to be enjoyable sitting on for extended periods. If you discover that maybe you prefer a seat that is more firm than soft. There are a ton of riders who suffer with an uncomfortable seat simply because they haven't tried out anything else. So I recommend trying out as many seats as you can before settling on one that you like. Most seats use 7mm rails to attach the seat post, but many will come with a rail adapter if the seat post you choose doesn't use the rail system. Just keep in mind that no matter what you choose, when you switch out the seat and the seat post, you will lose the ability to lower the seat to be flush with the passenger seat. For many, it's not a huge loss, but it's something to consider. I hope that this video does help any Rad Runner owners if they decide to upgrade their seat to a more comfortable option. If it did, please leave a comment or hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. If you're planning on buying a Rad Power Bike, you can use the link in the description to receive $50 off any new e-bike purchase. Thanks for watching.